pata pata. Victory, victory, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on board, everybody. Victory, victory, hallelujah. Jesus conquered the Satan. Victory, victory, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Victory, victory, hallelujah. Okay. We break through. 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 Victory, victory, hallelujah. 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 Victory, victory, hallelujah. Jesus conquered the Satan. Victory, victory, hallelujah. 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 Victory, victory, hallelujah. Okay. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise. We give you praise. Pastor Prater, I can hear your voice. He, he says, waiting. So. <laughs> We will overcome, we shall overcome the, uh, let's add again. Believing God for breakthrough now. It says connecting. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. At last. <laughs> <laughs> this is, is done at last, Rev. At last, at last. You are welcome to this channel. And we are so expectant of what God will release of, I mean, the impact. Thank you, Rev. That will come through Thank this. Thank you so much. Oh, it's a joy to have you. You're looking fresh. Thank you. <laughs> I, I just finished a, a, a live broadcast and I was practically sweating. I had to quickly clean up a little bit. <laughs> well, you, I, you. I have to commend you, Rev. It's a great work. I've been following. I've been watching the videos. I'm telling you, you are... You are one of the good side of COVID-19. <laughs> I, I hope that statement is not offensive, but no. I'm telling you, I have enjoyed your ministry since COVID-19 than before now. And it's amazing. <laughs> Every broadcast, the most that I've been a part of, has just been awesome, awesome. Thank you for giving hope, encouragement, and strength to the body of Christ. Yeah, I, I, uh, and you know, I believe all the viewers are so excited to have you. But for those people on Facebook, you are welcome. But if you really want to see uh, Pastor Korede, you can come over to Instagram at Dr K Live or Korede Adams. Uh, either one of the either either one of our handles we do, and you're welcome. But if you just want to keep on listening uh, to what he's saying, you can still hear him. And those of you on MixLR, you are also very much welcome. We're trusting God for a time of impartation. Now, the very Amen. reason why we have Pastor Kurede on today is because there is a pro prophetic a prophetic dimension to what is happening all over the world. Now, I believe literally what we're experiencing is Daniel chapter 2. Uh, let me read Daniel chapter 2 to you. Daniel chapter 2 and verse 21. Daniel chapter 2 verse 21. It says, he changes the times and the seasons. He says he removes kings and praises of kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. And in verse 22, he says he reveals deep and secret things. He knows what is in the darkness and light dwells with, with him. 
for, for information. There's nothing, there's nothing going on right now regarding the darkness that intimidates God. Look at what he says. He says he knows right, what is in the darkness. So darkness yes, does not intimidate him. There is a clear plan of God. There's a real agenda of God. And that's why I need Absolutely. all my listeners to, 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 not, to be, not to be distracted by the darkness, by the evil, by the, you know, by whatsoever is happening in, in COVID-19, you know, or season, so to say. Because, you know, you know, just before light breaks out, it's so dark. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 6, said, For God who commanded light to shine out of darkness. You know, so out light, of darkness. That's, light that's, literally that's powerful. about to be unleashed out of this darkness. You know, things will be bad. God spoke to me a few weeks ago. He said, tell my people they are coming into a season of innovation, a season of creativity, a season of productivity, through collaboration, and they are coming to a place of dominance on a whole new level. So, you know, the darkness is not the definition of this season. Beyond the darkness, there is a light coming out of the darkness. There's a dominance that's that right be through the body of Christ that has never been seen. There are going to be technologies unleashed, you know, in every industry. You know, the Bible says in Micah chapter 4, verse 1, it says, In the last days, it says, The mountains of the house of the Lord will be established on top of the of, of, of top of other mountains, and it says it will be exalted above the hills. And it says, Nations will flow into it. One of the things that's going to be happening that's is right. the fact that there are going to be more people saved than ever. People are going to cry out to yes. God, you know. What the devil meant for evil, God is going to flip it around and it's going to work in Amen. our advantage. We're going to see more people saved. We're going to see more people impacted. We're going to see more people transformed. But we need to be positioned. We can't afford to be afraid like the rest of the world. Fine, what is happening is terrible, but you are not permitted to be afraid. Fear will stop you from making the most of the season. Times are changing, seasons are changing, kings are being raised, kings are being demoted. There are going to be kings and queens like Vashti that will be walked out of yes, the sir. palace so that Esther can be in the palace. There are going to be as well as that will be fired. They used to have relevance That's in right. the past world, but in this new world, they will have no relevance. Because if you take a Daniel, a Shadrach, a Meshach, and a Bednico to occupy the place of authority, God will set yes, things sir. up so that the God of Daniel will be so exalted before Nebuchadnezzar. God will make the king to have a dream that he will not be able to interpret so that a Joseph can walk into the palace and bring the interpretation. And I believe, listening to me today, are Joseph's and Daniel's and Esther's that God is about to position. You know, so there's a prophetic dimension to this old dark storm. You know, I've had 70 something year old people say, In all my life, I've never seen this before. And it's because times are changing, seasons are changing. Yeah. We have, we have experienced yes, many changes in the last 20, 30, 40 years. I remember coming into America 20 years. That was about the time Silicon Valley was literally blowing up and it was so amazing mm -hmm. things changed you see people without a degree being paid hundred thousand in silicon valley just because they have the relevant skills you know people came into prominence i mean you it got to a point that you know a lot of people that were even excelling in the industry quite a number of them did not have degrees or relevant degrees people were changing from different fields and one of the things that we make so much difference in this season is your ability to adapt. That's because right. Certain technology are going to become obsolete, and new technologies are going to evolve. If you're going to hold That's on right. to the hold, you will expire with the hold. Mm -hmm. Pascal, do you remember Polaroid, Polaroids? Uh, what do you call it? Camera growing up with the film days, industry. That's correct. You take it and. You take it <laughs> and but you oh, know, yes. if you are talking to millennia about Polaroid, I mean, product, they'll be looking at you as, okay, what are you talking about? Look at when Blackberry that's came right. out. Blackberry was like, oh my God, that's the top. It was the biggest dude. 
I mean, if, if you bring out your Blackberry those days, boy, you have arrived. But I've not seen Why the not? Blackberry this year. They still have product. <laughs> <laughs> they are still making it, but I don't know who is using it. I remember Nokia, Nokia phone those days. You bring those Nokia phone. You know, there have been so many Nokia 3310. different, different corporations and, and organizations and, you know, uh, companies have ruled at different times. But you know what? God says, I'm bringing new things to your planet. And I need Amen. people that Amen. will be well positioned. I don't know who I'm talking to. Amen. God wants to make you a leader in your industry. And I pray for you in Amen. the name of Amen. Jesus. That yes. whatever it takes to download secret and deep things from heaven to rule in your industry in this season, you'll be positioned to download it and you will you 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 will be you'll be so aligned you will not be distracted you, you know you amen you, you will you, you amen you know, amen a few months ago i saw people pulling files from heaven pulling files from heaven god says there are new files i'm handling out hallelujah and you know god needs you position so that you can get your own files and have your relevance over to you sir hallelujah wow wow this is exciting, Rev. I'm telling you, like you said, this is one of the best times to live. We just need to have an understanding. Uh, uh, is a prayer in the book of Psalm 90 verse 12. It said, teach us, Lord, to number our days that we might apply our heart on the wisdom. We just need to understand that there's a shift in time. And we cannot be afraid because, see, we are a prophetic people. And the future that we are in, uh, we can only be afraid if God has not prepared us for this season. Hmm. And the first thing we need to understand is that God himself is well prepared for this time. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 46 and verse 10, it says, I am the one who declares the end from the very beginning. And the things from ancient past that are not yet done. Mm. It says, I will carry out my counsel and I will do all of my pleasure. Mm. One of my favorite statements is that where we are going, where science is going, is where God is coming from. Mm. God is coming from the future. We are going to the place that is his past. Is we are going to a future, we have arrived at a certain future of yesterday, we are looking to another future of today mm. that most assuredly we have already won. Mm. The Bible says in Revelation 12, 11, they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimony. We have already seen the end of the game. Jesus said to John in the book of Revelation, he said, I am the beginning and the end. Mm. I am the first and the last. I am the alpha. I am the omega. I didn't just start. I finished. Mm. I'm the author and the finisher, the pioneer and perfecter. I don't think when he started, the devil was in the picture. In Genesis 1, it was God in the beginning. At the end of the day, it's still going to be God. Uh, uh, and, and one of the things I love about this season is the fact that this is a season where even though there will be darkness, but the light is going to shine the most. Have you ever seen light that is afraid of darkness? In fact, no. if I were to be an electric bulb, my joy is night. If I were to be a fluorescent or an halogen, my excitement is darkness. The joy of, elect of, of the bulb of light is darkness. I, I, I'll tell you why. Because you don't use light in the day. You use it in the dark. If we cease to have night, then you can remove all the bulbs in the house. Then you don't need your fluorescent anymore. You don't need your halogen light anymore. You don't need the bulbs anymore. But the excitement and the joy of bulb of light is darkness. Mm. The God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness 
God was looking for light, he went to darkness. Because every time darkness shows up, it's an opportunity for light to express himself, express itself. I believe this is the biggest season of expression to every child of light. Hmm. Hmm. And if we look at the prophecy of the scriptures, Isaiah 60, darkness shall cover the earth, the gross darkness the people, but the Lord shall arise upon you and his glory is going to be seen. I believe that with the understanding of the will of God, I, I was saying to people earlier, Ephesians 5, 14, do not be unwise, but understanding what the will of God is. Our edge in this season is that we'll understand what the will of God is. And the will of God is that this is the season for us to arise and to shine. You know, Rev, we were talking about it the other day, and uh, we said there's a shift in the atmosphere. Uh, the, the, the devil probably thought when if we shut the church, uh, of course, COVID-19 didn't come to attack the church. It came as an attack on the world and we all uh, uh, have had to adjust. But the good thing is God already went ahead of our world. Imagine what the world would have been without the internet in the midst of this situation. But we are taking advantage of it. I, I was reading I was reading the book of First Peter, I, I believe it's First Peter, and, and Peter said to all the saints scattered. I said now we are dealing with saints scattered because there is a time that scattering will increase. The Bible oh. says that is he that scattered and yet increased. In the book of Acts of the Apostle, when the church was one, they did not grow. But in Acts chapter 8, verse 4, the Bible says, And God, when they were scattered, they began to preach. Things began to explode. There is a purpose of God in the scattering. The interesting thing is, like I said, I've never seen enjoy the ministry of Reverend K like I'm enjoying it in, in these days. Every week I see you. Every week. Every, almost every day I see you, there are people enjoying the ministry of the word right now because we need to understand in this prophetic season that God has left the church building into the houses of people, into the offices of people. We are not going to stop this even when the lockdown is over. Oh. We're still going to stay in people's houses. We're still going to preach the word in the offices of people. I am telling you, uh, listen, God says I'm, I'm, I'm out of the limitation. I'm out of the box. Oh, box in, in Matthew 24, in Matthew chapter 24, when Jesus began to tell his disciples of the signs of the end time, the first thing he said to them was that they were talking to him about the temple. That They said to Jesus, look at the beautiful temple. And Jesus said, hey, the next phase will take out the four walls of the temple because I cannot be limited to its place anymore. I cannot be limited to space anymore. We are eternal people. And the, the consistency of eternity is in the absence of time and space. We are, we are on the journey to eternity. We are breaking the limitation of time and space. I don't know what time it is. It is about six hours behind. I mean, Reverend is in my past and I'm in the future of Chicago because Chicago is only going to arrive at where I am in a couple of hours. But we have been able to compress time. Myself and an apostle, and apostle K, we are... We are on the same plane, even though at different times. We have broken the limit of time. We have broken the limit of space. And God says, you can't hold me and pin me down to a Sunday morning worship anymore. You can't hold me down to a midweek service in the evening before I preach and release my word. You see the advantage in the adversity. At the end of the day, God is about to get the glory. Mm -hmm. And we are moving into eternity where space and time is no more a limitation. We are mm -hmm. eternal people. We existed before time and space. And after time and space is over, we will exist. 
The isolation, the social distancing has not broken any limit because we are still in touch. I said that most of the scriptures were written in, in social distancing. John, the revelator, he was, he was at a social distance on the island of Patmos, isolated and uh, 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 separated from the community of men when he began to soar in prophetic ecstasy and wrote the book of Revelation. Moses wrote the Pentateuch in the wilderness and on the mountain. Paul was isolated and locked down in prison when he wrote half of the New Testament. I believe that authors will arise. I believe that preachers will arise. I believe that prophets will arise. Preachers. I believe that God will begin to give people at this time. There are people that never have this kind of break. The way I am studying the word of God yes, in this lockdown, I've never studied it like that in a long time. Mm -hmm. And God is calling, is raising kings. People are coming up with ideas, witty inventions like they've never had it before. Ladies and gentlemen, the boss will not give you a break. The system will not give you a pause. But God has taken advantage of an adversity and the best of the glory of God is about to be revealing this. Ooh. It's an exciting time to take advantage of it and to understand some of us right now, our online presence is stronger than ever before. It's unfortunate that sometimes the church will want to be the last to catch up on the reality. Ladies and gentlemen, businesses have left the actual to the virtual. They have left their shop and they are coming to the lives of people. And we are still doing church in a location. Can you say that again? Say businesses have left actual to virtual. Businesses have left actual to virtual. And then the church now wants to come behind. Listen, God already, the, you see, internet is not an idea of the devil. Mm -hmm. See, <laughs> internet is not the invention of the Antichrist mm -hmm. because the Antichrist can, is not original. He only copies an already existing system. And I believe that the wisdom of online is from the omnipresence of God that we allow you to, from one place, reach everywhere. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, what I say to one, I say to all. Mm -hmm. It takes the power of internet to make that happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The word runs swiftly. That is the internet. The fact that we are people of faith. There was nothing, neither there is anything about our faith that is physical. We are the circumcision that worship God in the spirit and we have no confidence in the flesh. Mm. Every time we gather, where two or three are gathered in his name, he's there in the midst of them. And so what it means is we are getting ready for eternity when mortality will give way to immortality. We are not of the flesh anymore. That's the reason why I am not seeing Rev. I'm not seeing you physically, but I'm seeing you spiritually in a way. Because this is like a spiritual scene. Because we are not in the flesh. I'm not seeing Rev in the flesh. I'm seeing you through the internet, which is a concept of eternity. While we look not at the things which are seen, but the things which are not seen, <laughs> but the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. My goodness. This is the program of God is catering us so that we can reach out to more people. I'm telling you, people have not heard the word being preached like they're hearing it right I now. I know, I know, I know this is serious. This is serious. And that's why believers can afford to be distracted by the news. Now, if you're watching me and watching us and your, your primary devotion is to CNN, you are, you know, all the statistics of, Oh, you know, so many people, this many people died overnight. That's what you are all I mean, gathering, please. That is a distraction. In as much as, you know, we pray for the people who are afflicted, who, who are suffering from, you know, one of the one symptom or the other based on coronavirus. In as much as we want to reach out to people who have been impacted, you know, economically based. That's right. Result of, you know, yes, sir. Don't be distracted. The seasons and times are changing. Look at it. Everything is being moved into cloud. Everything That's right. Now, look at the word cloud. What does that sound to you? We are getting closer. We are getting closer. We are getting closer. Everything <laughs> is being moved into the cloud. Everything is being That's moved right. into the cloud. Everything. That's and right. Literally now. The, the businesses that are thriving are businesses being done in the cloud. 
Everybody That's right, sir. is going after you know one company or the other that can give them some expression in the cloud. You know, in as much as a lot of businesses are suffering in this time, you know, cloud operation is getting stronger. It, you know, people that were stronger on Instagram before are opening Instagram account. Churches that have never transmitted on Facebook before are having having to trans translate on Facebook. All of a sudden, everything is moved from the athlete into the crowd. Physical space That's is right. becoming irrelevant. You know, we're from coming, actual you know, to virtual. You know, I, I'm blessed with a number of medical personnel in our system here in Chicago. And you know, yesterday we had men's meeting, and a good number of them were there. Come and see men talking. Apparently, they have missed, you know, being able to just no football, no, no Premier League. So, you know, everybody just came <laughs> out, they bombarded my Zoom accounts. And, you know, we were talking. And, you know, they, 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 wow. they, they told me a few things that shocked me. One of my sons, who's a radiologist, said, I've not been in office forever. It, this is a medical doctor. He said, I do everything from home. A radiologist. He said, I do yes. everything. You know, I talk. Even resident, resident doctors that are supposed to be in training, they say, oh, we are doing clinicals from home. I say, how do you do clinicals from home? He said, you know, you can stay at the comfort of your home and do clinicals. As a resident doctor, I say, really? Tell him medicine. Now. Like God, like the way God sits in heaven and he rules in the affairs of men. serious. Now we are talking about <laughs> procedures, surgeries being done by robots, not human hands. But using artificial intelligence, taking organs That's out, right. replacing organ. When they were telling me yesterday, I said, "Is this for real?" They said, "This is the new world. This is the new world. That's Everything right. is changing around us." And I Everything is changing. As many people as we position themselves appropriately, as many people as we seek me in this season, he said, "I will give them different things." Regarding their industry, because Master, every industry la, 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 la. we have peculiar yes. problems to solve, and there will yes. be Josephs and Daniels with capacity to solve the problem. And God says, "I will send you ahead to prepare a place for my for the rest of of, of your brethren." So. Listen, you need to be sensitive because God is repositioning. Now, the reason why all this shift, all this shaking are taking place is because there's a, there ought to be a shift. God wants to move That's right. some people into power. That's what I had. You know, there are people that That's before right. COVID were earning 30000 After COVID, they will be having $120,000 a year. Somebody That's said, right. how will that happen? God told me. He said, after First Kings chapter 17 experience, when there was a declaration that there will be no rain or dew for a period of time, he said there will be a, 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 a new season of Second Kings chapter 7, when the word of the Lord will come and say, by this time tomorrow. By the way, I yes, sir. over global economy, that it will bounce Hallelujah. back at a rate that will shock people's mind because they're going to be absolutely a of new technologies. Maybe some of you are thinking global economy is going down. It's not going down. Everybody will be shocked at the rate it will bounce back. And that's why you need to position yourself. I don't know the kind of skills God will have you get now. God told me to tell you, he said, go get the skills because you will need some level that's of right. skills for being invited to the king's palace. The reason why Daniel received the initial invitation was because he was knowledgeable and skillful. God will lead you to certain things on the internet. Begin to study it. There will be industries that you, you've never touched before and God will begin to say, go learn this software, go learn this application. You might not even need to go to a four-year college. There might be skills available, you know, certification to learn because very soon you will be needed in the palace. And ladies and gentlemen, your primary invitation will be those skills you have acquired and by after you have you, you are you are invited as a result of your natural qualification your supernatural capacity will now come into play god is about to position his people for dominance like never before and i pray for everybody under the sound of my voice that you will not be found wanting in your generation but you'll be among the people that will be ready you know it was not just daniel children meshik and abednego that came from israel but it was daniel children meshik and abednego that were ready i declare you will be among the people that will be ready so that you're able to position 
effectively in this season. Something huge is taking place. I know, I know Pastor Corey is going to be coming back. Something huge is coming. Some of you get your lazy, get your lazy butts out of the bed and start. I just want to rest. No, uh, 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 you have missed it. Learning. There's so many stuff online. There's so many stuff online. Don't be lazy. It's a new season. It's a new season. I mean, there's a time to pray in tongues. There's a time to fast. But there's going to be a, a, there's, there's also a time to acquire the necessary skills, because there's going to be so many skills that will become irrelevant. There'll be so many skills that people have acquired. Some of you, your four year for your four year college will become irrelevant in this season. Because the, you know, what you are taught in college is no longer what your industry needs. Hello. Hello. What you know, Pastor Corey, can you can you sign out? Can you get out of my page and come in and I'll request and I will receive you. Just go out. Some of you, there are certain skills you will need for you to remain relevant in your field. Pastor Corede, can you hear me? Some of you, you will need to acquire some new skills. You will need to retrain yourself. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You will need to retrain yourself. So don't waste this season. I had the Lord saying that. Don't waste this season. Some of you, just because you finished college 20 years ago, you've not, you've, you've not, you've not taken time to upgrade yourself, to get involved in, you know, in continuous education. You will need to educate yourself concerning the new technology because literally, there will be new technology for every industry. There will be new skills for every industry. I pray for you that you will not be behind in your generation. I pray for you that you will not be found wanting in your generation. I pray for you that you will be sensitive to do whatever it takes for you to be relevant. God spoke to me at the end of last year. He said, you are coming into a decade of relevance. I declare the name of Jesus. You'll be one of the people that will be relevant. Just yesterday, I was listening to a man of God and, you know, he was teaching some amazing things. But beyond what he was teaching, he mentioned a particular program or a particular consultant that came around and helped their organization. And right there, I knew I was supposed to go after that consultant and learn some things from him. So I went online. I went to, I went, I went to see some of the things he's doing. And the next thing, I'm like, I'm about, in fact, by today, I'm going to be signing up for a program. I'm going to be signing a program for the with the consultant because I believe there are things he has that I need. There are things he has that I need. And some of you, you will need to humble yourself because it's going to take humility to retrain yourself. It's going to require a high level of humility because Oh, yeah, you were the best student in your class 30 years ago when you were in college. Boy, listen, gentlemen, that is old school. There are new programs you need to learn. There are new certifications. Your field is not static. It's progressive. New things have come into play. What are you going to do to get in line with those new skills? Rather than bragging about, I made first class, I graduated with honors. Please, get over it. I mean, some of those things, a 20-year-old might need to teach you. In fact, your child, there are things that, you know, when I need clar clarification, I go to my 17-year-old son now. How do you do this? Because it seems their generation are just wired with a few things. They, they, they came with their manuals. And you are there trying to tell me about the story of 1987. Boy, I understand. But boy, the question is, do you want to be relevant? Do you want to have a voice in your generation? Or do you want to just keep on referring to the glories of the old? Eee. I eat it. The glories of the old. 
you will need more than the stories of the glories of the world to be read about. You will need to be conversant with the new. And that is God's idea. He gave the old covenant to Israel. Then he says, I'm upgrading it and I'm going to give you a better covenant, establish a better promises. But see the nature of humanity. Most of the Israelites did not embrace the new covenant. They are still stuck in the hold. Even in my city, you will see temples. You know, thank God. You know, God had the covenant with Israel. But the, 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 but the point is this. Through Jesus, he has upgraded it. Are you interested in the new? Or do you want to stay connected to the old? Something is breaking out in our generation. The people have been raised. I don't know about you. I will not be stuck with the old. In fact, I feel some of you need to go on retreats. Just separate yourself. Say, Lord, help me to be humble in this season. Help me to see what I need to see. Help me to connect appropriately. Bring people into my life that will teach me the skills I need for relevance. Stop telling stories about how it was when you came out of college. It's time to get on board for what God is doing in our days. And he's doing amazing things in our days. He's opening new doors in our days. He's raising new people in our days. If I don't mind this made up, I will be on board. I will do whatever it takes. And I had one of the words I had in my spirit is new friends. There are going to be new friends that God will be bringing into your life to bring you into new things. I want you to, to write it down somewhere. There are going to be what? New friends that everyone will be bringing into your life to bring you into new things. There are going to be new relationships, new association. Something new is on the horizon. A generation of glory is being born everywhere. And I pray for you in the name of Jesus that you will be part of that generation, that you will not be behind. You will not be telling story when God is doing something new, but you will be part of the glory movement. There is a glory movement. There is a generation being born. And I pray in the name of Jesus that you will be covered up with the glory of God and receive heaven as for you in this season. In the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to Jesus. Okay. Can, can we just pray in the Holy Ghost for the next few minutes? All the water has been stirred up. Because one of the ways to get into all that God has for you is to go deeper and deeper. You can you can you can operate in the shallow end of that river. God meets people that will walk all the way to the end where it's deep, when it becomes a river that cannot be crossed. If people so taba kuteshi de begia or so taba la kruba la kia so taba manta shi de bekia to kruma nan kateshi de bekia toba and bronokune yeke asadaba just pray the holy ghost mente susu bekia la koteshi de bekia neki anta kri ando kuba katoshi de bekia toba ma 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 e kri ando kusa to kruma nan kateshi de bekia toba and le kruma nan kushe de bekia ne yekia da krobala ne to shuda be krobala krobala ne yekia ndo krobala kriya la kusa chama ne yekia ndo kruma ne yekia shoda ne ndo kruma na krobala ne yekia so so ba kroba na katu shoda be embro na kru ne yekia so ta ba kwata ya me katu sa sa come bring the holy ghost somebody ne yeshu de be kriya la kusa da ba 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 Man to susu be kriya la kusa taba, ne to susu be kriya la kute she taba, ne no kruma ne kia susu ba, en kruma na kusa taba la kruma na, en ba la kruma na kusa taba ba ba, ma to shuda be kriya la kusa taba ba 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 ba, ma to susu be kriya la kia susu ba la kruma la, ma to shuda be kruma na katusa taba, en bro ma kuni ye. Da ba ba ba, man of Romanakia sotabala, on Batashu de Bekia. Father, we give you praise. We give you praise because we, we are being helped in this season. We are being helped in this season to make the most of what you are doing on earth, to connect effectively, to see what you are saying, and to run with your vision and your agenda. Thank you, Lord. 
Thank you, Jesus. Oh, there's a word of the Lord that I will have to deliver before I end this broadcast. Galatians chapter 3, verse 27. Galatians 3, 27 says this. It says, For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. You know, the, the old essence of our baptism, the water baptism, I mean, that was conducted when we got saved, is to lead us into the immersion of his life. We've been baptized so that we can put him on, we can wear him, he can become our definition. So when you say, I've been baptized, you know, you are baptized. Christ, it was not sprinkled on you. You are baptized. You are immersed into it. In other words, God says, I need you to go all the way to the deep end where there's baptism. That's the whole essence of Ezekiel 47. You know, the man started. He was walked a thousand cubits where the water reached the ankle level. If you are that, another thousand cubits where the water level reached the knee. And it was walked further, another thousand cubits, where the water level reached the waist. But God says, this is not it yet. And it was walked another thousand cubits when the water now became a river that covered them all. A river that could not be crossed. A river that is big enough, that is covering enough to swim in. And I heard the Lord saying, that is where I'm bringing you into. Because when you come there, you will experience the deep and secret things. And what eyes have not seen, what ears have not heard, what hearts have not received, I will show you. I will make you to hear it. And your heart will receive it. And you will have the solution for your generation. And you'll be appropriately placed to represent me as an ambassador in your world. Because that is the generation I'm craving for. The people that can take to the deep ends of the river. The people that can, I can show forth my glory through their lives. The people that can reflect and represent me everywhere. That is where I'm taking you to. The deep end of the river. Where you can function without limitation. And be all you have been called to be. Father, we thank you for this deep waters river generation. A people ready for the move of God in their generation. Wow. We've had an amazing time. Boy, guess what? There's still more to come. I'm going to let you go now because I'm going to need you at 9 p.m. tonight. 9 p.m. tonight, I'm going to be hosting my son, Pastor Noel Manifor. He's going to be joining me 9 p.m. So it's going to be me and Pastor Noel Manifor. And today happens to be his birthday. And I'm hosting him. That will be 3 p.m. Chicago and 9 p.m. in Nigeria and UK. Get ready. It's going to be a blast, father and son. We're going to be doing this together at 9 p.m. And, you know, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. Pastor Kuredi, thank you for being part of us. And, you know, hopefully the, the, the internet will permit us to enjoy you more the next time. Wow. So 9 p.m. tonight is going to be myself and Pastor Noel. 9 p.m. Nigeria, 9 p.m. UK, but it's going to be 3 p.m. in Chicago. Then tomorrow, wow, three of us, myself, Reverend Victor, and Reverend Femi Duole, are going to be speaking to the nations where all kings world, all the new, all uh, global harvest, all Transvant Assembly churches are located. We're going to be speaking. Moses, how are you? Good to, good to hear from you. Moses Akon, that's a powerful psalmist based in Philippines. He's my friend's son, uh, Bishop Tony Mar Marioge. Good to see you. Now, so tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. and 1 p.m., 7 p.m. 7 a.m. in Chicago, 1 p.m. in UK and Nigeria, we're going to be having a special Easter broadcast. And it's going to be three of us, myself, Reverend Victor, and Reverend Femme Duole, 7 a.m. Chicago time, 1 p.m. Then later, which is going to be 
12 noon, I'm having a special Easter broadcast from the Apostolic Place. And, you know, I need you to join me. I need you to join me all over the nations. People in Nigeria, it will be 6 p.m. People in UK, it will be 6 p.m. So, yes, tomorrow, those are the thing, two things lined up for tomorrow. And I'm so, so fired up and excited for what God is doing. Good news! All my students, all my students, uh, Evolve Masterclass, have instructed the administrator to open up the videos, all the videos, the four videos. So, I'm going to give you grace because I know some of you had problems, you know, assigning on, you know, enrolling. So all the four videos, the two videos for the first course, the, the two videos for the second course, all of them are going to be active. All of them are going to be active from now till Saturday morning, 12 a.m. Saturday morning. By 12 a.m., all the four videos, none of them will be available again because a new video will be uploaded that is saturday morning so please take advantage of this season and you know i'm going to ask them to open it up right now so that all of you uh, i think out of the 500 students about 300 plus have watched the video some of you missed one so it's going to open up immediately in the next 15 minutes if it has not opened up i will ensure the administrator open it up may the lord bless you may the lord keep you May the Lord surround you with favor in this season in the name of Jesus. So I'm going to see you 3 p.m. Chicago time, which will be 9 p.m. in Nigeria as Pastor Noel joins us for the next broadcast on Easter Revival. God bless you and have a blessed day. Amen.